Guys Thor here and today I have a not so usual looking style rifle that you can use to kind of set yourself apart on the airsoft field. I have from Real Sword the Type 97 and Type 97B. Now these again are not your standard looking airsoft rifles because they're not your standard uh, real steel rifles that you're going to see every day out there uh, in the real world. Now these are based off a Chinese style rifle. Uh, the Chinese came out with the, the QBZ-95 first. That was chambered in 5.8 by 42 millimeter. Um, that is standard for the Chinese. A lot of military and law enforcement use that. But for the export version, they came up with the QBZ-97, which is what these two rifles are based off of. They are chambered in 5.56 by 45 millimeter, the standard NATO round, and they will take standard M4 magazines, which is just like what the real steel version will do as well. Now, Type 95 uses a more AK style magazine well, where you had to put the front of the mag in and then rock it into place, but these do, again, take your standard M4 mags and just go straight into the mag well. Couple things about these two, you have the, the 97, which is the long barrel version, and the 97B, which is your short barrel version. You have your charging handle on the top right there. Um, you have the carry handle, which is integrated into the upper receiver. You have your shrouded front sight on it. You have your pistol grip right here on this one. Now the battery for both of these are going to go in the pistol grip right here. There's a little button you push down right there, slide the plate back and your wiring for your battery is in the pistol grip. So keep that in mind because it is a pretty thin and short area that you have to fit a battery into. So you're going to have to look for that specific style of battery that will fit into this pistol grip. Um, so keep that in mind if you purchase either one of these. It does take a certain size, probably a small brick lipo, um, something like that is what's going to fit in here. Not a lot of batteries are going to fit in that space. <clears throat> Other than that, pretty awesome little rifles. Again, your charging handle is right there. Your hop up is in the chamber right there. Your magazines do go rear like a bullpup design should. The only issue that I have with this rifle, besides being a bullpup design, and anyone who follows these videos and knows me knows I'm not a huge fan of bullpup designs, but that's just because I haven't taken the time to train on them. I'm not very, uh, I don't flow well with them because I have to retrain myself how to remove the magazine and work all the functions on the rifle. Because I spent so much time using M4s, M16 variants, that's what I'm most comfortable with. So I'm not a big fan of bullpups, but that's just um, me needing to learn more and be more active in learning how to use them properly. But that being said, the biggest issue I have with these is your safety. Your safety is located all the way back here on the rear of the buttstock. Now in the real steel world, the Chinese realized that this was an error in design and eventually came out with a Type 95 that had the safety move forward on above the uh, pistol grip and trigger so that it was easily accessible by the shooter. But these are modeled after the original 97s, so the safety is gonna be in the rear. Now to keep that in mind, um, it is not ambidextrous. So the good thing about that is you use your non-shooting hand if you're a right-handed shooter to reach back, take it on and off safe. But again, um, while it is somewhat easy, it's a little awkward to use even if you have the rifle shouldered. Now with the 97B, uh, again, same design, just a lot shorter barrel on it. You're gonna have this heavy muzzle weight on the end. Um, again, airsoft, not really doing anything except for looks. But in the real steel version, it would allow you to keep your barrel down and allow you that quicker target acquisition for your second, third follow-up shots. Charging handle again on top, pop up in the same spot, safety in the same exact location as well. You do have this forward pistol grip integrated into your trigger guard slash lower receiver so that you can use that because you don't have any room to grab up front here. It does actually have a molded thumb rest right there into the side of the receiver so you can get a good thumb foregrip so your thumb's out of the way and you don't have to worry about it moving forward and hitting your barrel and throwing off your shot. So that's integrated into it as well. Standard sights, overall not bad, a little rear heavy on them. Um, but again, that's the bullpup design. All your functioning stuff is here in the back. So it adds a little, a little bit of weight onto the back. Um, the only thing with that is, is actually once you've shouldered it, it's actually pretty comfortable because your shoulder is supporting the weight of the rifle. And it actually takes it off of straining your wrist or forearm from sitting too long. Same thing with this one. Most of your weight's from about here back. So once you have it shouldered, it rests pretty well and you can hold it up like this for long periods of time. 
So make sure you check them out on airsplat.com. Again, this is the Type 97 from Real Sword. It, it retails for $439.99. And this is the Type 97B from Real Sword, and it retails on airsplat.com for $419.99. Make sure you go over right now to check them out. Again, if you're looking for something unique that you don't see a lot out there on the field, these are ones you're gonna to wanna to check out.